Hello and welcome to this review for the game Abstract Academy. Can you see it from all the way back here? Well, there you go, Abstract Academy. Uh, I'll show you the box immediately. Very small, it's just a cardboard, a uh, thin cardboard box. Uh, if you'd like to know uh, what's inside the box and how the game plays, I've got separate videos uh, for that. So uh, have a look at those if you're interested in learning the game and seeing the content. Because this is all about my opinion on the game, which I don't often give. There are plenty of other reviewers, but when something is very new, I am uh, happy to uh, share my thoughts on it. The people from uh, Crafty Games and Flat Out Games were kind enough to send me a review copy. And lucky for them, I'm easily pleased. <laughs> I'm someone who quite uh, easily will enjoy playing a game. I wouldn't say of every game, oh, I love it, it's amazing, but I do I, I do like it. And I have played games that I actually didn't like, even a few that were quite popular, um, and you don't see them in my collection here. But back to Abstract Academy, like I said, it's very new, but I do believe it's already out there. It's fresh on the shelves of uh, board game shops, so uh, have a look for it. Let's start with the uh, packaging. Uh, as you could see, it's a small box, very easy to travel with if you're taking it to friends or even when you're uh, going on a trip to take it with you, which you can do because this is definitely a game that you could... Uh, bring along for family trips. Uh, it doesn't last very long. It's about half an hour, 40 minutes max in playtime, I think. Very easily explained. My tutorial video is just about six minutes. Um, and uh, yeah, and easy to play. But I, that doesn't mean it's not challenging, but I'll get to that in a moment. The only problem I do have with the box is the box, uh, because all the cards are they do fit perfectly in here, but every time when you have to close it, it, for me, it's a bit of a thing that it gets stuck. But that's the only negative thing I can say about it. The cards are of a nice quality. I think they have a linen finish where they uh, shuffle nicely. They don't stick together and they feel nicely in your hand. The game itself, uh, I enjoyed it. It's called Abstract Academy. Not just well, because I would categorize it as an abstract game, but it it fits the theme perfectly. It is about abstract art. It's so well done. You're making a painting. The painting is obviously modern abstract art. Um, so yeah, that's very well done. Uh, also, like I said, it's easy to explain, easy to play, but it's not a, a game that has no challenges. It definitely has that thing where you have to make a decision. Am I going to do something that helps me or am I going to do something that blocks the other player? So there is a balance. I do enjoy uh, games that have that element in it. Plus, my biggest plus for this game is you will often see two-player games, and on the box uh, it sometimes says suitable for up to four players. And then you read the rules to see what you have to do to make it a four-player game, and it's just... Nah, not really. You, I, In my opinion, they put on the box that it's also for four players, uh, just to sell more copies, I guess. But uh, no, uh, I have one of those games and uh, one very famous huge two-player game is on my wish list as well. And both of them say that they're up for four players. Uh, the one that's on my wish list, it's like you can play it with two players, but then it's just one team uh, and another team. Yeah, you can play it like that, but it's nicer to just do your own thing since it's a competitive game after all. The one that I own, that definitely doesn't work for uh, up to four players. Again, it's a team thing and they even had an option that it's for three players where the third player has to go switch from team to team for every turn. So who's the winner? Not sure. Abstract Academy, 
does it. It actually is a game that I thought, well, okay, this is a two-player game. And they just came up with some nonsensical rules to make it a four-player game. Because that's it. It's either two players or four players. Not solo, not three players. Two or four. That's it. But it works. It acts, And it works in a very nice way because it makes the game even more crazy and complicated. Because you get points for your side of the painting. When you're with two players, it's already interesting enough because you've got the other player on this side and the other player, you yourself on this side, and you will score points for this side, half of the painting, and the other player scores for that. And you can mess with the other player and the other player can mess with you. With four players, uh, they, you share a part of the painting. So yeah, <laughs> that's like, you have to, uh, you've got yourself to look out for, uh, plus watch what the other player on the other side is doing plus you have to think about this will help me but it will also automatically help the player next to me so I thought that was really cool that's uh, really well done so uh, yeah that's my biggest plus for this game that it actually managed to be cool for two players and four players. It's not a two player game that they came up with some nonsensical rules to make it for more players. They did it. The game itself, I really enjoyed playing it. Like I said, it's about 30 to 40 minutes long. So thank you again to publisher Flat Out Games for sending me this review copy. Lucky you, I'm easily pleased. <laughs> I don't just like any game, but uh, yeah, it, uh, I do enjoy games a lot and uh, again I was surprised by how there's yet another game on the market and it manages to have something original that you can't find in another game. So uh, thumbs up for me, two thumbs for the element where it's suitable for two and four players. Um, I hope you uh, do watch the tutorial and the game sounds interesting to you. Thank you for watching and uh, see you for the next one.